Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very creative and effective PowerPoint slide which can be used in your day-to-day -day presentations. You can use either in the office or in the school. And this is how the slide works. I have created two animations. So this is the first one. The first slide will show you the step one and the headlines will be prodded here. And you can add the icon there then it will show you the headline 2 or the step 2 step 3 step 4 and step 5 and similarly i have created another slide the same slide but different animation so this will start the step 1 from this side then step 2 step 3 step 4 and step 5 so let's see how to create this very useful infographic slide in powerpoint I'm going to add five rectangles for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle this is the first one shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to fill with this color then I'm going to insert again shapes second rectangle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to use this and then just say send to back then i'm going to add the third rectangle again no outline and shape fill i'll select this and send this to back so I'm going to repeat this until I created five uh, rectangles. And I'm going to fill this with this color. Send to back. And then the last one. Insert shapes rectangle and make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to give this color and then send this to back now I'm going to select all these five rectangles so by holding the control key right mouse click go to format object and effects give the shadow which is the shadow bottom right and increase the distance and increase the blur size i'm going to insert one more shape which is go to insert shapes and i'm going to select which is the basic shape called octagon just draw the octagon maybe this much size and put it here exactly and shape outline make it no outline press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to add it here you can see here the line is matching with this ctrl d ctrl d again and this is the last one now i'm going to select this object the rectangle and the octagon go to format merge shape just say union i'm going to do the same thing or i can just press f key f4 so that it will repeat you can see here and f4 key so our basic design is ready now we need to add the text and the icons now let's add the text go to insert text box draw a text box and just say 0 1 or you can say abc also 
I'm going to make the font which is Century Gothic. Make it bold, increase the size and make it as a white font. So this is one. Control D. This is two. And this is the last one. So let me just change. This is five, four, three, and two. If you want, you can add one more text here where you'll see that this is the step. I'll just add the word step here. Step right aligned, white make it bold and I'll change to century gothic so this is step one control T to duplicate it step two step three just align it properly and step five now once this is done you can add the icons here you can add the icons go to insert icons and select any five icons and click insert and I'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 inches and color I'm going to fill with white and I'm just going to add one by one the icons here And then you can add the text here. So I've just copied the text here. Then you can reduce the height and width. And if there's no space, you can add it at the top also. And then just change that one. This will be two, three, four, and five. Now you can see here our design is ready. Now only the animation is left now. Now there are two ways you can do the animate. You can start with one, two, three, four, five, or you can start from five, four, three, two, one. For this, I'm just going to make a duplicate slide, right mouse click, just say duplicate slide. And I'm just changing the number from 5 to 1. This is 5 will be 1. This is 2. This is 3. This is 4. And this is 5. Sorry. So I can start first animation. I can start with 1. So for this, I'm just going to select all these objects and group it control G to group it then I will select this and control G to group it the moment you group it it will come front so go to format just say send back and then I'm just selecting this control G and send back then I'm selecting the option 4 Control G and the last one. Control G to group and send to back. Now I can use a simple animation to this one. 
go to animations enable the animation pane select the first one and just say fly in fly in effect start from left and using the animation painter i'll double click this and i'll apply it to the second then third then fourth and then fifth and just press escape key now if i see the presentation or the slide in the slideshow it will come something like this one two three four and five now let's see how to do the animation the other way so before doing the animation again i'm going to group this as well or starting the group from the point one onwards control G to group and send this to back then I'll just select this control G then you can do this one then I will do for this and lastly the step 5 Control G and no, no action. So I have got, but uh, you can add the text, more text to this side because I'm going to start from the step one. So for this, I'm just going to select these four options, go to this one selection pane, and I will just first, I will just. just click on this eye you can see here right and then you can move this text here or wherever if you want you can increase the size also and if you have any images also you can do that one So this will be my step one and I will just change this to headline one. Then I will just ungroup the or unhide the option two and this also I can just make it in the center. And increase the size. And this will be headline 2 and if you have any images also you can add those images so once this is done likewise you have to do it for 3 4 and 3 2 and 1 so you can see here I've arranged all now let me just close this selection and first I'll do the animation for the step 1 the same animation animation fly in fly in from left and select this using animation painter double click the step 2 then step 3 step 4 and step 5 so let's see how it looks uh, in the slideshow when i click it will show you the step 1 and you can see the headlines and you can add as your image also there then this is the step 2 step 3 step 4 and step 5 that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university 
see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye